So Leanne, here at PSL Park, ahead of the match against the Bernian, how are you and the squad feeling? Really excited, yeah, I think it's been a, a long time coming. I think 11 weeks, um, we've had a break from the domestic game and a lot's happened in, in between that. So I think just to have a game of football and, and certainly, you know, matches against Hibernia are always close encounters. So yeah, we're looking forward to it and, you know, hope to hit the ground running. Before we come on the pre-season and the big match, let's obviously talk about the, the big thing that's happened in between. You touched upon the World Cup. How was it being a player in, in that squad? Yeah, it was. Listen, as a player, you have the expectations that you you want to win football matches and and you want to achieve and and do the best that you possibly can. And I think we've come away feeling like we probably could have have done better. Um, and that's probably the hardest thing to digest. If you step back from that and, and you look at it, you know, probably from the outside looking in, it, it's something, you know, I'm really proud to have been part of and really proud of the, the team of players that were there and, you know, the way they conducted themselves um, on the pitch and, and the games were, were really close encounters uh, in all the matches and I think that's something that, you know, moving in forward into the next tournament is, is things that we can learn from in the next qualifying campaign and um, we'll learn from that and we'll be better for it. From a personal perspective, obviously you got to start in the last game against Argentina. Were you, were you expecting that? Was that something you were aware of going into the game? Um, no, listen, throughout the whole campaign, um, I've always made sure that uh, if I'm called upon, then I'll be ready uh, and I'll do what I, I, I try to do, you know, in the domestic game and perform the way that I can perform. And I think as, as the tournament crept on and, it, the, you know, the, the two games, you know, came and went. And again, you, you need to keep that same focus. Anything can happen. Um, and when I got that opportunity, I, you know, I, I made sure that everything I, I had was left on the pitch that night, and um, you know, I certainly feel that I was able to do that, and that's where the real disappointment in the result comes because you can't enjoy um, the team's performance, you know, especially up until that 70-minute mark when we were so comfortable, and I think we showed the world um, the team that Scotland can be and the players that we've got and the potential that we've got. So. Um, it was nice to play at the World Cup and, and whatever, but the results are, are more important and um, maybe in a couple of years time I'll be looking back with, with a different viewpoint. <laughs> was it a little bit better sweet because a lot of people said that you were one of the standout players that night, you played really well for, for the team, was it disappointing therefore to, to obviously not get the, the result that you wanted or from that performance? Oh, listen, it's, it's nice that people have, have spoke well of me in yeah. terms of the performance. Um, for me, I, I just you know, try to do the job that I know that I can do and that, that I can bring to the team and that might be slightly different from, from other players and what they can bring. Um, for me, I had a real focus going into the match and I knew the job that personally I needed to do and, and certainly the positivity surrounding what the team um, could achieve. Um, but listen, it's, it's one game and it's how I as an individual move on into the next game and continue those performances that um, people expect and also how the team move on from that as well. So one of the parts of the World Cup, we had uh, SWPL players that participated, yourself included, Hibs yep. players there as well. This will be the, the game where you can watch yourselves and those players in action. Do you think it's a credit to, to the league, the fact that we, you know, we had so many players out there participating in the Scotland squad this time round? Yeah, I, I think so and I think the clubs um, have got you know, a lot of credit to take from that. And, and then the players individually and collectively, um, you know, players that don't have a professional environment to perform within, create that professional environment for themselves to um, certainly, you know, feel that they can perform to the best of their ability. So, it, you know, it was a credit to the, the Scottish based players and, and the environment that we have, that, that we managed to, you know, make the team and get there. And now it's, you know, the real buzz and the hope is that the, the fans get behind us now and that they come and watch. And, you know, if you were really affected and, and taken in by the World Cup experience, then you, you know you can come here on Sunday and, and hopefully you'll see you know many of those players um, performing, and, and that's a nice thing for for young kids to have and to have that contact time, you know, with role models and players that they aspire to be like. In terms of the, the pre-season, um, there's not been too much change in the squad, but one addition in Rachel McLaughlin. How's it been getting leading up to this first part of the season? Um, yeah, for us, we're, we're really focused. Um, the, the team's been back in training now for a couple of weeks and, and everybody's come back in, in really good condition. Um, Rachel's a fantastic addition to the side and she was always a player that when you go um, toe to toe with her when, when she played on the other side that she was always a really difficult opponent and a player um, that I've admired in, in terms of our physical attributes and our technical 
ability. Um, you know, she's really it comes across as an experienced player for being someone so young as well. Um, so for us, it's a fantastic player to have, and and certainly, you know, the game on Sunday just adds you that wee bit more. Um, bit between your teeth that you're looking forward to it and we know how close these encounters have been in the past um, so it's given us that wee bit extra determination in pre-season you know making sure that the, the hard work is, is going to pay off. Going into to this match can you give us an idea of I guess what the, the aim is to take from it because obviously you've got a bit of a, a healthy lead at the moment points wise over um, Hibs and Celtic is it a game that you still want to go out and see as a must win or is it one of those that if you were to take a draw perhaps going into it what would you say? I think the nature of the game doesn't allow you to approach it with any other attitude other than you want to win the game um, because you, you don't go into a game against your biggest rivals looking to draw the match or um, you know to try and just stay in the game and um, for us we want to win we want to, to try and increase that um, points tally if we can because we're aware that obviously Hibernian have, have strengthened as a side and are getting better as, as the season goes on but also teams like Celtic and Rangers we, you know we've, we've heard lots about their investment and um, this you know the contact time that they now have with players um, so I would expect that those teams would be improving in, in the latter part of the, the season as well and those will also be big games for us. So Sunday's about three points and it's about us making sure that we you know, get back to doing what we do best and um, you know, hopefully a lot of fans can get behind us and enjoy the match. And just finally, you have you know, inspired a generation, I think everyone can agree on that. What would you say to encourage people to, to come out and turn up on Sunday and show the support? Yeah, like I said, if you know, as a kid, if I had watched a World Cup and you know, people that you were able to see were on the TV and um, a journey that you had followed and you, you become emotionally involved in that and if you were given the chance to meet those players, you know, I would have, have bitten your hand off for that. So um, we just hope that, that kids here in Scotland are, are feeling the same excitement that we have and that they're proud um, of what we have done and that they can now come and be part of that journey and, and with that we will support them on their journey um, you know, through their football pathway and, and we hope to make Scotland um, you know, a top footballing nation um, even better than it is already.